Hey, what's up all you action figure lovers out there? Master Marvel's back at it once again, bringing you another action figure review. Tonight we're taking a look at the Marvel Legends What If Disney Plus wave. We have Star-Lord T'Challa, and we have Nebula with hair. <laughs> and, and not all in pieces. So, yeah, Nebula. A good Nebula, too. So... Yeah, this is interesting right here. I mean, I did like the what if wave. My hands is always like, Bruh! right in the. F so, <laughs> I do like the what if wave. Um, some of the episodes obviously way better than others, um, but I, it's something I'm gonna have to go back and watch again because I don't. I mean, I remember the episodes and if talking about it with somebody, you know, but. Just thinking of it, I really I don't remember much, really, from them. I mean, because it was just kind of a one breeze through on them. I just kind of watched them to get them out of the way, late at night kind of thing. So probably too tired to really be paying attention, anyways. So yeah, I. But I do remember liking it. So, um, cool. So T'Challa instead of Peter Quill. Pretty awesome. I mean. I think he looks pretty good. Uh, and, and yes, it's a different... It, you could fudge some of these into your your regular comic book display, but some of them not so much. And this is one of those that's not so much. But this would blend really well with like your Spider-Man to the Spider-Verse figures that we got from the animated movie not that far back with the prowler and stuff. I, I think that that this would go well with that. And there might be a couple more in here that that would go, that, that would work for her as well. But Nebula, in my opinion, she can, she's kind of in the middle there. She's, she can ride that comic line and she could be, you know, uh, not so much MCU, even though that body looks like, I think it's reuse of the MCU Nebula, or, um, what the fuck's her name? <laughs> no, I can't even think of it. But anyways, we're talking about him first. So he does come with a masked head here. And you can see the, the hair coming off of it. So it's definitely not the same exact one. As a Star Lord before, so uh, that's pretty awesome. The guns are definitely the same, just repainted, and they look nice in that color. Um, I do like that whole purple and stuff. This is a cool look for him right here, um, and it does look good with the helmet, the mask on. But I honestly do like this animated T'Challa head sculpt. It really does look good. And it gives off that animated look that, you know, that I think it's intended for. So, yeah, definitely not going to be on my MCU shelf or my comic shelf, but this will be adding to my uh, animated Spider-Man, you know, Into the Spider-Verse, what if, whatever, this is what's going to happen. So, pretty cool. So, anyways, I was thinking Gamora, by the way, when I was thinking... when. As far as his body goes, definitely the legs and stuff are familiar. But it might be it might be Nebula's legs already. So just with different arms, the Smurf blue Smurfette. This looks like Smurfette. I, honestly, that's like turned into a badass right here. Seriously, is that what I'm looking at? It's not Nebula, dude. This is Smurf. This is Smurfette brought into the MCU. So. And what's really nice is that hair goes over the eye, but if you move the hair out of the way, the eye and everything is painted perfect. I mean, it's it's really good. And the bad thing is, is we get eyes that aren't covered <laughs> that suck. And this one, that she just it looks good. So yeah, I like this Nebula, and she doesn't look, in my opinion, really. Well, she kind of does look like the actress a little bit, honestly. She really kind of does. That's not that's not a bad head sculpt at all. It's just the matte colors that really 
you know, make it look animated and not real life or even comic for that matter. Because there's no shading in that hair at all. No, no depth to the color. It's just, you know. But I still think it could work. Because I do not have a nebula in my uh, comic, you know, on my comic shelves at all. I don't even have the, I don't even think they've ever done a Nebula comic book version for Marvel Legends, to be honest with you. I know they've done Gamora, um, with like the Guardians of the Galaxy packs and stuff, but, uh, yeah, she could possibly work, you know. So, that's neat. Anyway, so, yeah, T'Challa comes with the head of the Watcher. And this is, like I said, the Watcher build a figure wave. And she comes with most of them. There's, like, the leg pieces up inside there. Top part of the torso. Top part of the cowl from the back of the, the cape or whatever. So, yeah, like, she comes with most of them right there. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't have much else to say about them. I'll, I'll just go ahead and set them up here so you guys can get a good look at them before I end this video. Because I'm not really going to do any comparisons. Not to these guys. Because they're just kind of like in their own. Um, I do have my MCU figures here. They're not in storage. But I still don't feel like digging them out and stuff. Because they're just they're in boxes. Just to try to do a comparison to Gamora. Or Nebula I mean. And see if that's actually the reused body. I'm pretty sure it is. Got some nice color contrast going on there with the purples. Actually, look good together. Yeah, I'm gonna wrap this up though because we still got some pretty good ones to go through yet. Uh, I'm excited about this, and I'm actually eager to get the watcher built because my watcher, and I'll talk more about that later, is gonna end up going on my comic shelf. So I mean, because I did not get the select version, and this is our only Marvel Legend version, so this is my version. So that's it. If you guys like the video, you guys know what to do. Hit that like button. Go ahead and leave a comment. Talk about it. Let me know what you guys think of this. Did you guys like the show? Whatever you want to talk about. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already done it, man. Alright, I'll catch y'all on the next video. Here they come. Peace.